What's going on guys? I am at Leadville Airport. I'm actually just scoping it out because I got to BV late in the afternoon and it was windy. It still is windy. So I wasn't gonna try to fly up here. What's up guys? I recently made a trip up to Denver to go visit some customers and decided I'm going to fly up a little bit early and do some mountain flying. I haven't really flown around the mountains a whole lot. I've flown into Telluride once and Buena Vista, a couple other places, but I uh, haven't really gotten to fly around in the Rockies. So decided to fly up early and hit Buena Vista. And of course, one of the big things on my bucket list is Leadville, highest airport in the country. And then on to Steamboat Springs, where we like to ski. And then ultimately ended up at Rocky Mountain Metro to visit my customers. I made a similar flight up in uh, the spring, but weather didn't quite cooperate, so I didn't get to do this, uh, this exact trip. Why don't you guys come along? One of my favorite spots to stop on the way to Colorado is Dalhart. They have a surprisingly nice little FBO and restaurant attached to it. Just make sure you get there before 2 o'clock. But uh, they've got some really good food and it's a good pit stop between uh, Austin and Colorado. got to BV late in the afternoon and it was windy. It still is windy. So I wasn't going to try to fly up here. Plus there's a TFR that I have to avoid. There's a uh, forest fire going on over by Twin Lakes where we like to camp. But uh, again up here at Leadville and just kind of scoping things out and hoping I can come land here tomorrow morning. Here I'm speculating that they're digging out more area to build hangars and just having a you know a more protected parking area because this looks like an old parking area with a really old plane sitting up here so it looks like they're expanding lots of new uh, ramp looks really nice a couple new hangars kind of see from the windsock down there that it's still pretty windy Pretty good crosswind. There is Mount Massive and Mount Elbert. I climbed Mount Elbert a couple years ago. It's really more of a hike, but it is quite tall. 14,433 feet. Check out my police cruiser that I got to borrow from Buena Vista. And I mounted my Starlink on top that I just got. Thanks to Trent Palmer, I found unique componentry and ordered one. Sounds like everybody ordered one because they've stopped taking orders. They've, they've gotten so many that I think they're overwhelmed. But I uh, brought it on this trip just to test it out. I just got it about a week ago. And, uh, you know, just plug it into my cigarette lighter here on this car. But uh, I think it works pretty well.
on guys it is early on sunday morning i'm up to catch the sunrise i had no idea it was going to be at 5 30 in the morning <laughs> it is pretty bright pretty early but man look at that view isn't that incredible so i'm gonna head down to buena vista spent the night in leadville last night and i'm gonna see if i can actually fly up to leadville the challenge is that there's currently a TFR due to a forest fire at Twin Lakes. So it's going to be pretty tight trying to fly up and around that TFR. So I may opt to uh, just go ahead and fly over to Steamboat. But uh, let me get up in the air and see how things look and see what we can do. You guys might be wondering why the heck I keep calling it Buena Vista. It's obviously pronounced Buena Vista, the Spanish spelling. Well, that's not true here. Back in 1879, all the residents and property owners in the area got together and decided if they formed a formal community, it might actually bring the railroad here. And it worked. It actually brought three railroads here. But at that meeting, Alcina Deerhammer proposed the name Buena Vista instead of the Spanish spelling of it of the name. The other option was Collegiate Peaks, which is the name of all the mountains in the area. So in that meeting, they decided to call it Buena Vista, obviously playing on the word beautiful, because it absolutely is beautiful here. Absolutely love this town. So many cool things happening. It's actually growing too fast for its own good, but hey, that's happening in a lot of places these days. Two of my favorite places in town are the old State Highway Department building where the Trailhead store and the restaurant are as well as BV Roastery, which is right across the street. I think that ties back to when I was here doing an airy avalanche course and got a crash course in alpine touring, which is basically kind of cross country skiing up a mountain, but wearing your fat powder skis and then skiing down. Love coming here, love, reminds me of that trip. Need to come back and do that again soon. You'll see the name Deerhammer around quite a bit, most notably the Deerhammer bourbon that is distilled here in town. But Alcina Deerhammer became sort of the, you know, godmother of the town, if you will. And you'll just see that name all over the place.
as I said, we really like to ski steamboats, so I've always wanted to fly in there and just see what that flight's like. It's actually a pretty easy flight in. It is a relatively short runway, however. When I landed, there were a couple of skid marks getting off the uh, side of the runway where the taxiway is. I made it into Steamboat Springs just in time for lunch. Let's go grab some food. That's one thing I love about GA. Is most of these airports have a courtesy car. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. And I think he said Big House Burgers. I made it to Rocky Mountain Airport for the end of the trip. So with that guys, I'm gonna sign off. Had an awesome time flying around the Rockies. Still having a ton of issues with my GoPro, so I may have to switch completely or upgrade to a, a newer version. Well, I hope you guys can hear me. I am about to depart Rocky Mountain Metro Airport. My IFR clearance to Dalhart. And right now I'm taxing Taxiway Alpha, crossing 13 to runway 12 left. Program Skyhawk 75775 uh, at Alpha 5. Going back to Western Air. great week. Flew up on Saturday and continued on all the way to Buena Vista uh, Central Colorado Regional Airport. Landed there in a pretty stiff crosswind. I was going to go up to Leadville, but the winds were pretty strong, so decided to just spend the night there in, in the area. Unfortunately, Buena Vista, everything was sold out other than the Super 8 Motel for $290 a night. So I decided to you know, take the scenic drive up to Leadville, check out Leadville. I actually walked around the airport, as you saw. And landed at Leadville, highest uh, airport in the country. And then from there, continued on to Steamboat Springs, another place I've always wanted to land. So checked off uh, two bucket list items. I've been to BV one, one other time. But Steamboat was awesome. 
grabbed the courtesy car, went into town, went and ate at Big House Burgers. They actually had a really good Philly cheesesteak. Then jumped back in the plane and circled over uh, Steamboat until I got up to ultimately 15,500. And uh, flew right over the Steamboat Ski Resort over to Rocky Mountain Metro Airport. Along the way, passed by Grand Lake and the Granby, Granby area, just south of Rocky Mountain National Park, so I could kind of see the park from where I was at 15,500, and just just an amazing view flying over the mountains, just, just before descending into uh, the Denver area. So with that, guys, I'm going to sign off and see you on the next video.